Right, just heading back out for some food, obviously. Sounds like there's some, some war going off outside. Don't really know what's happening. I've been listening to some music and I could hear something. I think, what is that noise? <laughs> but yes, yeah, sounds like I'm in a war zone. But yeah, off out for some food. Give me some advice. I don't know what I want tonight. I sort of want curry again. I can't have curry again, surely. Right, so I'm making my, I've got my earphones in with music on, so I'm probably shouting at the moment. I'm heading up towards somewhere I've not been yet. My eye is looking very pink, like swollen. I'm so tired though, that's what it is. But I need to go and get food because I know what I'm like. I need it, I need it. I'm not gonna lie, feeling a little bit low at the moment, but that's two things, food and tiredness. And that's generally what gets me down. But looking up here, it's enough to make anyone smile. What have I come across up here? Oh, there's like mulled wine and stuff. Oh, Christmas decorations up there. What we got then? So lots of different sweets and nuts and stuff. What we got up here? Oh, ham, meat and stuff like that. Oh, this looks good. These all look really good. What are these things in here, look? Look at all these. I don't know what they are. They're like almost donut -y things, aren't they? All of them deep fried stuff. And you know I like my deep fried stuff. Look at the chocolate ones up there as well. Big fat donut things. So many good, such good stuff. One with ham and cheese in it. I think I had something like that in Romania. But, let's have a look, hot wine. Oh, that's pretty cool list to be fair. I might get something to eat here, I don't know. Because I sort of want to carry on walking further down. Oh, but they've got sangria and stuff here as well. Feliz Natal. So I'm getting, guessing that's their version of Feliz Navidad or what the, whatever the Spanish say. Look at the big ham sandwiches. It's all sorts. And we're just sat around on a Sunday night eating down olives and, and all sorts. Oh, I could, could definitely do the sangria. This is all so good. I know it's only small, but the atmosphere in here just seems really nice. People sat with their families and that's what Christmas period's about. Got a roast hog on there as well. Oh, so good. So, I might come back there, but I wanna carry on and go a bit further towards where the water is. Cause I haven't really been down to the water properly yet. So we'll go and have a gander. Although, I do want to go and have a look in this Portugal football shop to see if I can get something for Freddie while I'm here. But I think it might be shut. See, Freddie would love it in there. Like Eusebio, Ronaldo shirts. Ronaldo, waxwork. He would, he would proper love it in there. Oh, it's a shame I can't get something for him. But it's shut. So, unless I come in the morning. Oh, wow, look up here. Right, I want to show you in here, but it's copyrighted music. So I'm going to have to show you around with no music on. I just put my music over the top of it. I'm sorry, I can't help it.
you're gonna absolutely love where I am. And I don't just mean because I've got a massive bear next to me, but look where we are. Look at this gate and then look at this tree. It's massive. Let's walk through it. You can literally walk through it. Now, I've got to be careful at the moment and you're going to be angry at me. I know you're going to be angry at me. So, on the way down here, I was doing a uh, Facebook Live and I kept getting hassled by this same guy trying to sell me drugs. And it's the first time I've seen anything bad in this place. Look at this though first. How good is this? So cool. Anyway, so I got annoyed with him, turned round and... Uh, and told him to fuck off. Don't think you want to look at my stupid face at the moment because it's all weird and my eyes have gone funny. Look, this is another one. They're all stood. Fuck off. Absolutely do, mate. They seem to stand on the end of the things and they're the ones that do it. Absolutely. No need. I hate it. It's one thing I really do hate. Um, so... Yeah, yeah. You could keep. I'm being watched now as well. It's all right because there's there's plenty of people watching you, so it's fine. He's just whistled him because I've told him to fuck off. I'm gonna get my head kicked in. I'm sure I am. So we'll uh, we'll disappear around this corner. But he just whistled and looked at me, and then his mates come, and he's keeping his eye on me. His ear look. It's this guy here. So we'll, we'll make him aware that we know who he is. Sorry, I, I just can't be doing with people like that. Yeah, I know who you are and I know what you're doing, so keep away, dickhead. Still there, look, still stood watching. Fucking knobhead. I absolutely can't stand stuff like that. And uh, as I'm walking away, I heard him whistle. I noticed this other guy started to follow me. So I got him on live and I'm like, look mate, I know you're there and I know you're following me. And eventually he stopped following me. But I do need to be careful because you're not really supposed to tell drug dealers to fuck off. It's not the best idea, to be fair. So anyway, I'll show you around. So like I said, tree is massive. But this is more impressive for me. Look at this. What a gateway that is so nice the water's down there I've just been down to the water there's nothing really to see so I'm not taking you down but there's a big sculpture there there's food places all around and then and then that so I'm gonna go and find somewhere to eat I think now without getting shanked shanked up by the local drug dealers oh there's football on over that one so I might go there oh it's it's the beer museum Obviously, got to love the beer museum. Look at this panda. Bloody huge. It's clawing that woman to death. The tram systems here are really good as well. I know this is the most boring conversation in the world, but the trams are really good because not only do they have these new ones, they have like the old classic style ones as well that you see bobbing around, so it's really good. Right, I'm going to see if I can find some food, and if not, find lots of beer, and then go to sleep. Right, I'm going to head off. Like I said, to get some food. It's just dead good, it's dead good. Let's have a look. Uh, you know what? I know. I always, when I look at buildings like this, I look for like bullet holes and stuff from in the war. I don't even know whose side Portugal was on. Were they even involved? I don't know. I, I am answering myself there. I'm like asking a question and then somehow answering it. But, right, I've got to be careful up here now because this is where that guy was following me, so I need to be uh, on my guard. And if I carry on filming up here, it looks like at least I'm talking to Facebook Live again. And he'll uh, leave me alone. Like I said, this city is so safe and so nice, and it's just been really, really good. It's just not the best idea to, to swear at drug dealers. And I, I've only seen two, but one of them were just doing me bonds. So I thought he got, he got full, both barrels and then hopefully I don't get both barrels. There we go. There they are. The drug dealers. Those three 
sat together over there. Other ones. <laughs> Not noticed me so far. Probably will do in a second though. So I'm just gonna flip you around. Let's have a look. Hmm. Don't think they're following me, which is good. Good sign. Like I say, they don't really bother me that much. It doesn't bother me too much, but I do need to be careful. I know I do. So, let me just check how many of them can I count. I can definitely see one of them. Two of them, three of them. They're all there. So they're not following me. Look at me shitting myself. I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm still going to watch my back, though. Still got to make sure that I'm not in a position where somebody just comes from behind. Sounds weird. Anyway, food. I told you though, the atmosphere is really good. For a Sunday night, 10 o'clock on a Sunday night, all the families are out. Everybody's spending time together. I love it. I proper love it. I want fish so I've come here because they were, they were packed in here earlier on but obviously it's getting later now I don't think I need that much fish I think I'm just gonna go for this with the baked potatoes um, baked cod fish with cornbread spinach and baked potato sounds pretty good um, I want a starter though oh, I'm sort of tempted to have that squid but I don't know I don't know which to go for I might I could have the mussels or the prawns. I do like prawns. What's it in? Prawns with olive oil, white wine, garlic and lemon. That does sound good. But saying is the same with the mussels. Oh god, the choices, the choices. I'm gonna go for the prawns, I think. The same the same price anyway. Yeah, we'll go for prawns. And this one. That's what we're having. Right. First round, prawns is here. <laughs> a rather small beer and uh, a Coke. So, oh, he's brought me some chilli sauce as well. That is good, that is good. I'm gonna put too much on it now, I know I am. But, oh, thank you, pal. Yeah, yeah. So, I've not had a beer while I've been here, because I don't drink very often anyway. I think I've maybe had five pints of lager this year. I, I don't drink very often, so I thought, you know what, it's Christmas, sort of, and why not? It'll help me sleep as well, so, anyway, I need to crack on with this. Right, my fish has come. I'm gonna have to cut it open to show you, because that looks very orange on camera, I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't really look like that in person. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Nice bit of cod in there, look. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on with it. Looks really good, to be fair. Good morning, and welcome to Monday. So, yesterday, you didn't really get a great deal of, well, you certainly did, to be fair, you got quite a lot. But there was no exploring, really, yesterday, after the first one that I've done. So, I'm in the shower, brush my teeth, and I need to get out of here in about six minutes. So, well, we're gonna have a good day today. I'm feeling in a good mood because I've got over that being tired and this is why I needed to do that rest. I needed to have a rest. Anyway, I'll crack on. Right, time to leave my little room with empty bags of crisps and cans of pop in it. It's, it's looking like it's gonna be, I'm gonna really show you properly, a sunny day today, which is good. It's definitely a nice little place to, place to stay, better than the car. But I am gonna, I'm not gonna miss these stairs. I'll tell you now, my legs are killing. I walked about 15 miles yesterday in total. So, 
my legs are really, really, really stiff today. Plus, obviously, jumping and climbing over walls doesn't help. But I'm so glad I didn't go out exploring last night because I feel so good today compared to what I felt like yesterday. My eyes are like that. So, anyway, let's let's get to the car. Actually, <laughs> I've decided it makes sense to set myself up for the day and have breakfast. So I'm going to the same place I went yesterday and have something slightly different, probably almost the same, but I need it, I think. It's probably a good idea to do it now rather than when I'm rushing around, that's all. All right, so I've just had my smoked salmon sandwich. Now I'm onto the pancakes, which are absolutely beautiful. And I'm really looking forward to trying this. Never had one before. Like I said, my friend Julie told me to try it. I am going to in a minute. Anyway, you can go away now while I eat. Right, almost back at the car. Um, I'm gonna miss Lisbon now. I quite like the place. It is filthy. It is dirty in places. Like, there's piles of rubbish over there. I I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm not gonna make it seem like it's the prettiest place because some of it isn't. But there's a, just a feeling about this place. I don't know what it is. It feels really relaxed, really chilled. Everybody seems to get on with everybody, apart from when I swear at people that are selling drugs in the street. But I only saw two of them the whole time I was here. So, not that bad. But anyway, heading, oh, look at this. It's like they've been waiting for me to come. <laughs> I can't believe there's pigeons everywhere, always, wherever I go. I suppose there is in every city. Anyway, I'm gonna jump back in the car work out how much it is I need to pay to get out of this place because I'm probably going to have to go back to the cash machine to get some money out and then when I've done that I think we're going north so let's see where we end up right I've started to come through a lot of the little villages now they're cute though I'm not going to lie some lovely little villages with the white and different coloured houses there's a funny smell in here today I don't know it smells like washer fluid like car washer fluid so I don't know if I've done something like destroyed the car somehow but we're not far away now from the next location I'm, I'm a bit stressed because I don't feel like I've done enough my the last the next location after this one don't know if I can get in so if I oh bloody hell this car's a bit Jesus Christ there we go um, if I only get in this one and the one that I've done two locations for like three and a half days doesn't seem very much so i kind of need to rack my brains and find something else as well just in case i don't get in that last one like i aim to do one a day like one per full day so i've got three well i've got four locations but one of them i was told once i got here i needed a ladder to get in which i haven't obviously got in my bag so it's now a case of doing this one don't stress don't worry about it don't think about it until i've done it then we plan it was very much a last minute trip idea i wasn't gonna do this and then i just thought you know what i've got a couple of weeks before christmas let's just go and do it like kids are still at school it's it's one of those in it like i've got a bit of spare time let's just go and enjoy it so that's mainly i'm it's enjoying sign Turn left oh, onto M5. Telling me where to go now. You know, that's the main thing for me. It's just like, look at this. The countryside's lovely. The roads aren't so lovely. They're a bit disgusting, to be fair. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's been it's been pretty good. I've, I've enjoyed it so far. But I need to get some locations done as well. Anyway, I don't really know where I'm going, so I kind of need to just focus on what I'm doing really so I'll see you in a minute man. <laughs> right so there's a house up there I just saw it from the road oh god that's a big spot isn't it I saw it from the road I, I'm not I can't I wasn't even gonna film at all at first because yeah, I felt a bit bad but I went up up this drive to it and uh, all the shutters were down stuff were just chucked all over outside anyway I sort of made my way around the back thought oh this will be good if I can find one just randomly driving past. So anyway, I did that. And uh, I noticed all the washing was on the line. This little old lady came out and uh, said something to me. And I went, I just like, sorry, sorry, and walked away. So 
<laughs> yeah, you've got to be careful because some of these places around here look very abandoned. In half a mile, and they're not. They're not. Pedro they're not at all. Nicola. Anyway, carry on to the place where I was supposed to be going. <laughs> right, next problem. So, I'm driving along. I've got maps on, and it took me to a village just up there. Now it's not the right place. It's not very far away. It's about ten minutes drive away. But I don't know why Maps has done that. It's like taking me to the nearest village. Now the next problem I've got is, I've then tried to put the actual location in, which it's found it, I'll show you. And we're there, but it won't do the route for me. It says there's no signal, no internet. So I can't, even though it says it's 4G, I can't, I don't know the route how to get to it. I'm just gonna have to guess and just drive along the little roads. And if I start to go away from where I need to be, <laughs> then I'm just gonna have to turn around a different way. But it's a bit awkward. What is this? What is in there? I'm guessing it's something to do with gas and electric. Just looking at that. Um, so yeah, but there's loads of little, what is this up here? Is this a church graveyard? Yeah, I think there's a little like churchyard or something up there by the looks of things. But it's lovely around here. It's like, I love it in different countries in Europe because in the UK, any bit of land people start building loads of houses on, around here you've got lots of countryside and it's nice. It's nice just to have like fields and like vineyard, there's a vineyard or something there by the looks of things. It's just, it's lovely. Anyway, I've got to try and work out where I'm going now because I, I think I might be going the wrong way. Right, we're coming into a town. I think we're heading the right direction because we're going along there and then I think if we go up that other road, we should get there. Now, a lot of these little villages, like I said, a lot of the houses sort of kind of look abandoned. I just think they're just rugged and rough. Oh, oh, vineyards, loads, loads of uh, things like that knocking about around here, to be fair. But yeah, look, like a lot of houses are just a bit, I want to say grim, but I think that's that's taking the mick a little bit. I don't really mean grim. All right, do I go? Do I go further down here? Or do I go up there? That doesn't look like a proper road to me. I think we'll have to go this way and hope for the best. I'm hoping there's like a turn off up to the right somewhere because that's where we need to go based on what I can see on there, the little tiny gray lines. That's, that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Oh, Lord, this is just so awkward. I'm waiting for that big green go to come back. And when it does, we should be all right. See, I've gone, have I gone past it? Have I gone past that road? I think I might have, you know. We'll drive a little bit further down here. If I don't find a, nah, I've definitely gone past it. I've definitely gone past that little gray line. Look, 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 I'll show you what I mean. So I presumed I'd come along this grey line here. So that little turn I've just seen must have been it. I want to go up there. Right, oh, I'll find somewhere to turn around before this dog kills me that's barking at me. I wasn't joking, he is actually waiting for me. He's wanting to get me. Oh, look at him. Little cutie. You alright, pal? You okay, mate? You having a nice day? Oh, you've got lovely eyes. Right, see you later. Right, let's head back this way. Right, so, based on what I'm looking at on the map, it must be up this little tiny road here. God, God, do this. Right. Oh, it is a road, it is a road. That's good. Oh, look at all the cats gazillions of cats on that bin. Hello, cats. Right. It's going to be in there. See, look, there's more and more that are looking more and more abandoned the further we go up. But I think, like, some of them are being used as storage for some of the other houses next door. Right, we're going the right way. I know we're going the right way now. That's good. That's good, and hopefully I'll get a signal when I get a bit further up here for the fine details for the last little bits of the route. Right, I think, I think we're pretty much there. I think, I hope. I think 
this might be on the left up here. But the thing is, when I, when I can't definitely see it on a map, it's hard to know whether I'm just about to walk into someone's bleeding house. Let me just have a look back on this, look on my phone as well. Compare it to that. Uh, oh, no, 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 don't do that to me. I'm a bit stuck now. Right, I'm just going to have to spend a, a couple of minutes trying to work this out. Right, I think I've found it. So I'm going to go off and make the video and I'll see you when I come back. Still in Portugal and you know what, it's beautiful today. To say it's the middle of December, it is so warm. I've got my shorts on, got my t-shirt on. I sort of need a hoodie to put stuff in the pockets but I can't wear a hoodie today. Anyway, we are at, I don't know where, I don't know what to call it really. A big house, a mansion, I, I'm not sure. I don't know enough about this place. So we're gonna go and find out together. And you know what, that's what I like. Loads of people are like, why don't you do your research before you go? Because I sort of like to not know. And I like to learn with you and find out all the bits that I can and then do the research afterwards on the catch-up videos. That is why the sort of catch-up videos are so good, because then you guys can get involved as well. One thing I do want to say before we go in, please, please, please hit the subscribe button and the like button, purely because I want to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by the 1st of November next year, because I've promised to everybody, everybody's been going on about this, if we hit 100,000 before then, I will go to Leicester Square in London in a dress, full makeup, and I will do a live for two hours from the middle of London. So please, let's hit this 100,000. Tell your brother, your mother, your cousin, your friend down the street, just get them to subscribe and we'll get up to that 100,000. Anyway, let's get in. And show you what I can see. Look at this place. It looks amazing. And the thing is, we can't even really see it properly from here because of all that foliage. designs round and that's before we even look at the 
freaky faces. All the scenes up at the top of there. This is like beautiful, actually. Looking out into the courtyard, not that you can see it because it's so bright out there, but and then you, all your designs there. You'd have a big chandelier coming down in the middle. That looks like the castle I did in Slovenia the other week. And then if I turn around this way, I can see his face. It's like the green man. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Look at him shooting. That could almost be here, down by the lake, shooting, although there's no mountains. Look at that. Right, I've just got out of that place. I've been in there ages, because I actually really enjoyed it, and I, it took me ages to try and work it out. That guy, I found, the guy that lived here, I found where he's buried, and he died in his 50s. He built this place in his 40s. That's like my age. Imagine having this place in your 40s. It'd be brilliant. Back in the 1870s? 1870s. It's crazy. Anyway, off to the next one. We've got a three-hour drive now up to Braga. So I'm not going to get there till about nine o'clock. So just in time to go and get some food. And then I don't know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> so we'll work it out from then. Right, I'm doing what I know, don't like doing when I'm abroad and that's going to McDonald's. But I need to get, I've got a three hour drive. And at the end of the day, I don't really want to be stopping for very long. So this is the quick, easy way of doing things. They've got some good looking, weird stuff that they haven't got in the UK though. Like eggs, <laughs> which is a bit weird. But anyway, I'm gonna get something now. Right, so instead of large fries, you can get cabbage soup vegetable soup and pea soup what is that all about i'm getting fries don't get wrong but i think that's really bizarre um right i'm gonna get something else as well just to try it i think right i don't know whether to go it looks really rubbish on here it looks really dark it's just because it's a screen so i don't know whether to get the maestro well, maestro eggs benedict or the mccrispy creamy barbecue i've never had a mccrispy anyway at home oh shut up um but I don't know which one to go for. I sort of want the one with the egg. But I think I'm gonna go for the chicken because I've already got a normal burger with a Big Mac. So I'm gonna go for this one, I think. Uh, we'll just get the item. We don't need two meals. Right, let's crack on and get that. Right, it keeps offering me extra things, which is fine. But what the hell is potato sauce? I'm gonna get some potato sauce just to try it. What the hell is that all about? Surely it's just mayonnaise. Anyway. That's not too bad. Let's get us food. Right, I'm not gonna do a food video with you where I have to eat it and show you, but I will tell you what everything's like. Obviously, Big Mac, fries, drink, we all know what they taste like. The crispy, it's got a bit of a different lid on it and it's got some raw onions on it and some sauce. So it's probably, it's gonna probably be a bit rubbish because <laughs> it's McDonald's. And I will tell you what this is like as well. I think it's just mayonnaise myself, but we'll see. Right, so, potato sauce. I'm struggling to get it out for a start. Sort of got some. Not gonna lie, it looks disgusting. It looks like someone's got a yeast infection. It doesn't really taste of anything much. Sort of gone off mayonnaise. Anyway. The crack on because I need to get out of here. I'll tell you something though, bro. I'll just call you bro. <laughs> I don't know why I just called you bro. I know why it is. I've just been watching YouTube and uh, the person on that was saying it a lot. But um, I'll tell you something. I am. Every muscle in my body is hurting. Jumping over walls, jumping off walls. I am aching all over. And every time I sit down for a bit, when I get back up again, I can hardly walk. So I've got blisters on my toes. Like I say, I walked 15 miles yesterday. Oh my God, oh, I thought I'd left the window open, not car then. Um, yeah, I walked 15 miles yesterday. So I'm aching anyway from that. Then also the uh, day before that, 
I did that explore where I sort of ruined my legs. My feet were numb. I could hardly, I could hardly move after that. So, I am tired. I am, I am tired. I am looking forward to relaxing over Christmas. I know that, but I'm really enjoying this trip away. I, I am. I didn't think I was yesterday. <laughs> yesterday morning when my eyes are like this, but yeah. Gonna get off on this drive anyway. I've got about two and a half hours to go. Right, we've just got into Braga. I've not got, I've got 0.4 miles to my hotel. So I'm gonna go there first and then we'll go and have a look around. I think it might be raining, you know. Better not be raining. I can't be doing with rain. Right, don't get me wrong, there's about four spots on the windscreen. So I don't think we're gonna get any sort of heavy downpour, but I still don't want rain. It looks very, very quiet in comparison to, like it's cobbly as well, so that's why we're all over the place, but um, it's very quiet in comparison to Lisbon so far. However, I don't know how close we are to the actual center. Jesus. So I'll have to try and work that out in a little bit. But hopefully, it says it's got parking here as well. I'm not gonna have to pay Turn right onto Rua do Anjo, then the destination 45 is right. quid or whatever it cost me in Lisbon. I had to pay a fortune in parking. Anyway, we are, oh, this is quite good. I'll show you this in a minute. Right, two things. One, I just almost got in trouble because I almost parked outside the police HQ. And two, it's banging it down. It's not supposed to rain, it's supposed to be warm. <laughs> It is, to be fair, it, what temperature it doesn't say on there, does it say on here? Does it say on here? 17 degrees, 17 degrees isn't bad at all, but the rain can feck off. It's sudden, like I've literally just stopped and it started hammering it down. I might just wait five minutes and see if it stops. Right, it's about 30 seconds later and it's pretty much stopped. Thank God for that. Right, let's go and find our way into this hotel. Right, so I got out for five seconds and it banged it down again. <laughs> so I'm soaking. I'm not even in the driver's seat, I'm in the passenger seat. Because I just had to jump in the car before it stopped. It's proper hammering it down all of a sudden. So I'm going to wait until it stopped again. Get my stuff and leg it to the hotel. <laughs> not good at all, not good. You know what, I've done pretty well when I've been out and about exploring in different places. I've not really had much bad weather. This is really the first time I've got caught in a proper shower, but I'm only, it's literally just around that corner where I'm staying. So if I get my stuff, I need to take these clothes off anyway, because I stink. So it doesn't really matter. It's more my shoes. I don't want to get wet shoes. Right, as you can see, it is still raining. I've parked the car in here. I don't know whether I'm supposed to. I think it's a, it's a museum car park. But there's, let me get like there's no stopping me coming in, and there's no parking like meters or anything like that. Like I said, that's the that's the HQ of the police over there. Knowing me, I'll get myself in big trouble. Right, the oh, it's going off with air. Um, the room is literally down here. I don't know what it's going to be like. I booked it last minute as usual. The thing is, as long as it's clean. As long as it's got a bed, it's got somewhere to piss and shit. And um, just like, just a little bit of space. That's all I'm bothered about. I don't need it to be massive. I don't need it to be like five star. As long as it's clean, I'm fine. To be fair, even if it's not clean, I don't really care. Right, I'm gonna find it and I'll see you inside. Right, so I found the apartment right next to the uh, religious effigy shop. Like I said, we've just come from up there. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool in here, to be fair. I can't even remember what floor we're on. I think it's the second floor. This is an old building, this. Look at those steps. It's really good. I should probably check on my emails what floor I'm on. The only thing is I was looking at it on the phone that I'm now filming on. Let's have a look. Right, so we're on the second floor. Is this the second floor? Is that the ground floor? And this is the first floor? I'm not sure. Yeah, 
I think this is the first floor. So let's go up again, see if we can find it. Right, oh, this light's doing me in. Every time I try and do anything, it turns off. Right, the problem is I've got my hands full. I can't open it. I swear I've just unlocked it once. You know what? Jesus. Right, that isn't even my bed. That's someone else's bed, apparently. Oh, get off me. My bed's in here, I think. Oh. <laughs> Jackpot. This is good. This is good. I will take this all day long for like 35 quid. Nice double bed. Better shut my door, really. Fridge freezer, full on kitchen, nice little table to sit and edit at in a bit so I don't do my backing. And uh, this just a chill out one if I want to as well. Telly in this room, telly in my room. I will take that all day long. And obviously, the all important shower and toilet. Oh, I look an odd, I look a very odd shape in that. Why do I look so weird? Anyway. Not bad at all. What's around there? Oh, somewhere to hang your clothes when they're wet. Not that I'm gonna be washing my clothes. I even get a cooker. Not that I'm gonna use it at all. And I kind of point at the toaster. A toaster that I'm not gonna use. It looks a bit like a PlayStation. Oh no, that's a coffee machine. Oh, coffee for me. Right, so the weather outside is absolutely atrocious. So I did a Facebook Live and I ordered some food and guess what I've gone for? Obviously, I've had a curry. These naan breads are like bleeding pizzas. I don't know why there's two of them either. Um, but there was no chips, which was a bit of, a bit of a shame, but I'll, I'll stop being a typical Brit having uh, chips with everything. But yeah, needed this. So I'm gonna crack on, scram this, and then I might go back on Facebook Live for a bit. Right, good morning. So it is my final day before I've got to go back. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I've had a good sleep, although I didn't go to bed until three o'clock this morning because I was editing. Now, it's not very nice outside, I don't think. I think it's, well, it was banging it down when my food came last night. I think it's been raining this morning. But the problem is, the problem I've got is my right arm. So I sort of can't hold this. This arm is absolutely in pieces. I don't know what I've done to it. I think it may be climbing over walls again. But I've, I've really hurt it. Like holding it in this position is fine. But when I start rotating my arm, I think I've like dam oh, I'm not damaged muscles. I've just like strained something. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I've done, but it really, really hurts. So that's going to be an issue. Slippiness doesn't help with the rain either. But I am going to go and try and get in this place. But I also want to go and have a look around Braga um, and see what it's like. Cause it's supposed to be really nice, but it would have been nicer if it was sunny, but it's not. So anyway, I'll get out of my little bed and go and do something. The thing is, I don't have to check out of this place till 12, which is typical. The, the day that I sort of can't really, I'm going to say I can't have a line. I've already had a line. But I can't just chill out and it's a really nice apartment as well. <laughs> I would have loved to have stayed here a bit longer, but I've got stuff to do and I've got to get back. Right, so as you as you can see, it's not it's not the nicest out there. In fact, if I zoom in look, it's pretty terrible. Oh my god, it's banging it down. This is the thing though, right? I'm going to get soaked and then I'm going to have wet clothes in my bag on the way back, which is not ideal. I, I really want to go and do this castle thing, but is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've done two videos. It doesn't seem very much. Three days, two videos. It doesn't seem very much, does it? But I don't know. I don't know. We'll think about it. Right, so it's five to 12 and I'm literally still in here. I've decided I'm not going out and exploring. I've done 
I've done two, which is which is not really good enough, but I have got to chill out as well, you know, sometimes I have just got to like relax. I know I've paid money to get here and one thing or another, um, but I think the two videos I've got have been well worth it. They've been really, really, really good videos. So let's go and have a look back out at this window and put myself off even more. It is still, it's still raining. You can't really see on here, but it is still raining. So I might go into Braga itself, go and have a look round. Um, hope that my car's not been clamped in that place I put it last night. And just go and maybe try and get you a video. Right, that's been a really nice place to stay, to be fair. Oh, I'm not looking forward to going out into this weather at all. I don't know how you open this door either. Oh, there you go. It is not nice. It is, it is, it is not nice at all. Everyone's got umbrellas up, coats on. I'm in bleeding shorts as usual. It's, you know what? I can deal with wet t-shirts. Not like a, not like a wet t-shirt competition. I can deal with wet t-shirts. I can deal with wet hoodies and shorts. It's shoes. If my feet get wet and I've got to travel all the way home, with wet feet, because I can't put the muddy ones on that are in the car. If I have to do that, I don't know. I don't know if I can deal with it. I need to find somewhere to go and get some food though. I am starving. It's like 12 o'clock, not had any breakfast. I know I had a curry at one o'clock this morning. However, not great, is it? Not great. Right, my car's still there, which is good. It's not as wet as I thought it was out here. It is raining, but it's not as wet. So we'll go and dump the stuff in the car, walk down to the centre and see if we can find anything worth looking at. Right, so this is the police station. The car's parked over there next to the museum. The police have got like shitloads of oranges in their, in their car park. They've got orange trees for days. I'm about to get run over again. Now there is a lot of buildings like this I've noticed while I've been driving round. So you'd think there'd be a lot of abandoned places here because there's a lot that are like a proper fucking state. So you'd think, God, look at, they're just everywhere. I suppose it's, it's like Spain, innit? But um, yeah, you would think there would be loads and loads of abandoned buildings around here. And there probably is, but they're probably all past the point of repair. So like I said, I just think it's not, it's not worth it in this weather risking myself climbing up because i hate climbing stuff in wet weather because my balance is bad as it is so add slippy surfaces into that as well not the best not the best so i am being good i'm doing what you told me to do weighing things up um and i've not because i've not got andy to tell me to be good look look another one here yeah i've got nobody to tell me no you shouldn't do that so in my head, you're there going, don't do that. And I won't. But it is a bit of a letdown that I've only got two videos, really. But like I said, banging videos. Fucking probably one of the best videos I've ever done, one of them. Anyway, let's keep going. Right, so while heading down to the main, well, I think the main square down there, I've just popped past this. Now, I don't know whether I'm supposed to be filming in here or not. Look at this. Oh my lord, I didn't know you were there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this place. Absolutely amazing. And I'm now going to make a hasty exit. That woman just scared the absolute shit out of me. Right, I walked in and what I saw in my head was the beautiful artwork and then a statue sat with the head in the hands at the side. I didn't realise it was an actual person. I proper shit myself then because it just went like that. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, let's have a look where we're going now. Right, we're in some sort of square uh, with quite an imposing building here. What's this one? Oh, it's a hotel. Bloody hell. Looks pretty impressive inside as well. I would not have said that was a hotel. I would have said that was like a town hall or something. Wow. 
Anyway, there's the big Braga sign up here. Well, surely we can get something to eat around here somewhere. Look at that bell tower as well, that's good. Wow, that place has got some work done on it. Now, it's one euro to get in, which I'm happy to pay. However, it says no cameras in there, so there's no point. But it does look like it's gonna be a nice little place. It's just a shame about this weather. I hate, I hate it when it's raining. It just ruins everything really, doesn't it? Oh, that's good luck. That'd make a nice little photo, wouldn't it? Whether you stood next to that. Unfortunately, I've got nobody to take photos with. Nobody's going to take a photo of me. Right, this place looks all right. I'll just have a look at the menu on it. It's not bad. I actually looked at it and thought, you know what? It looks really expensive. But I've just looked at the, the online menu with one of these QR codes. It's really good. Really, really good. Look, I'll let you have a look yourself. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on and get in there out of this rain. And you know what? Looks really good over there. I'm gonna to have to have a look in a minute. Right, my first course has come. Now, I know a lot of people aren't gonna like olives. I really like olives, to be fair. Got croquettes. Let's break one of those open and have a look. Now, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't look appetizing, but I bet it's beautiful. So I'm gonna give it a go, and I'll let you know how I get on. I'll tell you something, these are really tasty, really nice. Like I said, they don't look really appealing, but it's, it's, it's like, I don't really know what it is. I think it might even be fish. I don't know. It's really nice though. It could just probably do with something like aioli, like some sort of dip, something to dip it in. I don't know what. Right, so starter, mains here already. Look at that for a burger. That is better than the McDonald's crap I had yesterday. Look at the cheese on that and some fries. I can dip my stuff in there. Even better. Right, seriously. It's the messiest meal in the world, but it is so good. So, so good. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I just wanted to show you the mess I'm gonna make. Right, that was absolutely amazing. So, so nice. Now the problem is, I don't think I showed you my coffee and the coffee was the best bit. So I'll, I'll put a photograph in and it was really good, like really good. Right, we're gonna go and have a look round. It stopped raining, which is good. Have a look up here and then I think maybe have a look down there. We've got about an hour before I need to set off. So not long really. Feel like I have wasted today, but I was up till three o'clock, like I said this morning. I probably shouldn't have done that but I needed to get the video out for what is tonight, which is Tuesday, uh, which is the last behind the scenes in Ireland. So I needed to get that up, which I've sorted, um, and then get some other stuff edited as well, because the video I did yesterday, I know somebody else has been there, and I'm trying to get the video out before they do, because they're a bigger channel than me. A lot of people will already know who this is. They're a bigger channel than me, and I think I need that little extra boost. They don't need it as much as me. But anyway, that's just YouTube politics for you. And the and the person who's got been there, I absolutely adore him. He's an absolute top lad, but I've got to put me first. Anyway, I'll show you where I am. I bet this at night, oh God, that looks a bit weird. I bet this at night looks fantastic, you know. Got a big, a very Portuguese looking building with the tiles on there. And all the lights are flashing like mad. Look at that. It's not actually flashing in real life. It just is on the camera. I actually don't know if it'll record like that, but it's weird. Then you've got a little um, train to take you around. Obviously, there's not many tourists out and about today because the weather is absolute shite. We are up in the hills, as you can see. Um, I think there's hills in the clouds over there as well you just can't see them so i can hear music going on i know somewhere there's a palace or a, a big building and you have to go up like loads of steps to get to it but i'm not i'm not sure where that is i don't know where it is so i'll have a quick wander around and have a look the problem is as well and it's a good thing this is a good thing but it's not for me there's music playing over speakers on every single street. So I'm gonna get copyright claimed just for walking down a street. Um, there's some very odd things there. All these things are made out of rubbish. Christmas decorations made out of rubbish. Quite a good idea. Let's have a look. It looks like Christmas trees made out of bottles and 
tyres. Father Christmas made out of tyres. It's actually quite a good idea, to be fair. It's quite creative. So we'll keep looking, see if we can find something spectacular. I'm loving that bottle angel. But yeah, look at that. That's quite, it's quite pretty, really. It would be at night. Right, let's keep going. Right, there wasn't very much down there, so we're heading back past the Christmas tree with a hole in it. They all seem to have holes in, which is weird. It's quite cool though. Um, and then we're gonna head this direction. I don't really know what's up here. Probably just a load of shops to be fair. I wanna find something like a church or something cool, like with a really good designs to show you. So many good food places, like selling quite strange looking items. Like that man's a strange looking item. He's just been staring at me. Uh, but I think it's the mix of me holding this and not speaking Portuguese. I think it throws them a little bit and they start looking at me. My arm is killing this arm. I think I've got a rep repetitive strain injury and I don't mean from that. There's been none of that. I mean from holding this camera in this position. I think that's what it is. So it's hurting. I don't care because I want to get some good footage for you. Now it just looks a bit grim because it's it's been raining, grey skies. I actually think this place would be lovely later on at night or when it's sunny. It'd be really good. Oh, I don't know what that place is over there. It's like a, a castle churchy place. And then this big building here. Go and have a look at that. Oh, just stood in a massive puddle. Yeah, there's that as well. There's some really nice buildings knocking about. But like I say, there's all these Christmas songs on. It's it's a nightmare for me and uh, monetization. I'm telling you now. Yeah, look. What is this thing? It's just a random, a random thing. They need to clean these walls up a bit. They're a bit green. But it's like a random tower and a, a little cross on a stick. Let's go and have a look. What it says. See, look. This would have made a good one to explore if I could have got in it. Although I don't know what's in there. Let's have a look through this window, shall we? A toilet. Bloody hell, that would have been good, wouldn't it? Exploring a toilet. You can see where the other buildings have been up against it at one point or another. Now they've changed stuff. Yeah, I do wonder what this was once. I'm not climbing up to have a look. Let's look in here. Hmm. Maybe an old market hall or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this is or what it's for. There's some old looking graffiti on here. That looks like 17 something. But and some more there as well. You can just about see. But yeah, I don't really, I would be tempted to jump over that if I thought I could get in it. I don't think I can. Right, let me just turn around. Yeah, there's like a snake. Look at the snake thing there. Where is it? There. I don't know what this place is. If that door was open, I'd be tempted to jump over. Is it open? I can't see, I can't actually see if it is. It sort of looks like it is. Shall I do it? How are you? I've got the wrong shoes on, as usual, to be getting over fences and walls. I might just do it. Right, right, I've got over. I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm definitely gonna get in trouble. Let's have a look. I bet it's shut, I bet there's a gate or a door. Oh, there is. There is. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, it's locked. Definitely locked. Worth a look. <laughs> That's my one bit of exploring done for today. The guy in the office down there has just given me a very funny look, but got to get back over here now and it were a lot easier climbing over it this this way than it's going to be going that way <laughs> I've just got absolutely soaked my, track, my shorts are wet through um, that were hard because there were a drip constantly coming down on my head a big fat drip I'm a big fat drip anyway look at these buildings nice little fancy arches but it's these it's the tiled buildings I really like, look at that. 
so pretty, aren't they? Rather than just stone. Like, don't get me wrong, I like good old stone built buildings. It's just a change, isn't it? It's just something a bit different. Anyway, I need to stop filming because driving home for Christmas is on the rate, on the music and I'm gonna get done. Right, so this is the weirdest shop I've ever seen. I've got to be quick because of this music is literally right above me. I need to talk over it so you can't hear it. But it's a shop just selling tins and tins and tins of, of sardines with different years on them. What is that all about? I'm just gonna have to do you a little montage, I think, of all the different shops because I can't, I can't deal with this. I think there must be some, like, I'm outside this place, which is pretty cool, and obviously it's a church. However, I have a feeling the people across the road don't like the church being there. In fact, they don't like the guy that's in charge of the church. <laughs> you just need to look at the name. So it's, it's restaurant, obviously without the tea. Bomb Jesus. <laughs> he's, a bit, he's a bit bad when they've got Jesus across the road. <laughs> Restaurant bomb Jesus, what is that all about? Right, the rain's starting again, so I think it's time to head back to the car and head off to the airport. Right, back to the, the filthy car. I will give it a shake out before I get out. It's not actually that bad for me. So back to the police station. We're off, we're going. Oh my Lord, look at the weather. I'm so glad I decided not to go exploring. I'm so glad I set off early because this is horrendous. There's no way I can get any sort of speed either. It's, it's terrible. I'm up in the mountains and it's just torrential. I, I hope the road doesn't flood. I honestly hope you can get to the airport without dying in time. Oh, obviously, if I die, I won't get there in time. You know what I mean? Anyway, I've got to concentrate really. Right, so, got to the shuttle bus. Late, as usual. Right, so, I have got about 20 minutes to get through security. This is not like me at all. I'm never late. Always late, always. So, 20 minutes to get through security. She dropped me off at the wrong place, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. However, Record Go, which is the company that I used, I owe them 200 pounds. I owe them 200 pounds because when I went to Barcelona, wow, where is Terminal 2? How do I get to Terminal 2? Is that it? I don't know. But anyway, when I went to Barcelona, I was supposed to drop the car back off at Barcelona but I kind of got it wrong because I was supposed, I thought I could drop it off at somewhere totally different. So I dropped it off 900 miles away. <laughs> so yeah, they, uh, they tried to charge me and it didn't happen. So I owe them money. I don't know where I'm going. Just give me a minute. Right, so I've managed to get on a shuttle bus because it's about a three mile walk that way. So it says jump on here. It's going in about five minutes. So that still doesn't give me very long, but I think we should be all right. I think, I think. 
I'm not doing anything tomorrow, so if I have to go tomorrow instead, it's just how it is, isn't it? But anyway, I'm looking tired, definitely looking tired. Right, I'm in Terminal 2. There's not many people here, which is good, because that means hopefully I can get straight through security. I know this camera's bouncing about a lot, it's because I'm just bombing as fast as I can. Oh yeah, there's about five people to go through security, which is good. Right, gotta go. Right, straight through security, no issues at all. Not like on the way here. It was horrendous on the way here. Gate's up, so literally gotta go straight to the gate. No hanging round. I need the toilet, I'm not gonna lie, I need the toilet. But I'm hoping there's gonna be a toilet near the gate. If not, I might have to go on the plane, which I don't really like doing, if I'm being honest. But anyway, I'll see you when I get up there. Right, finally, an hour late, we're out onto the runway and the plane, oh, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm on a middle seat, middle seat's horrible. Anyway, there it is. Crack on, get on the back, we're on the big queue. At least it's cooler out here, it was boiling inside. Absolutely sweating. Right, see you in a bit. In fact, I don't know why I'm saying see you in a bit. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch up with you on the next trip. This is going to be the last trip this year. So if I've not already said it to you, hope you have a great 20, uh, 2024.